sheriff and Anna Nicole Smith dead. And I screamed out, she's not dead. <laughs> and of course, at that moment, people still, you know, they start looking. And I said, she only changed addresses. And see, you got to know something about me. It's impossible to hide me. <laughs> but you can't take me anywhere and hide me. And so I said to them, I said, she's not dead. She only changed addresses. The question is, where is your address? And see, so that's the big question today. How connected are we with eternity? So having said all this, let me say this. Uh, in 2006, something happened in the invisible realm over the earth. There was a shift in the earth, in the atmosphere, the spiritual climate. I can't go into all that now. But in 07, there was an acceleration that was released. And the minute we entered the, the 2008 calendar year in earth, really, to get technical, it began back with the Jewish calendar when the new year hit back in September. But really, in, as far as we know, a calendar, we have our January through December. But in 2008, there was a, there was a, a release of an ease in the atmosphere because God has been preparing the heart of humanity for such a time as this. And so when I was in Tampa, and I, I only met your pastor one time a week ago in Shoney's, and when I met him, we just collided, and the next thing I knew, I was scheduled to be here today, which is very significant, more than I can tell you now. But even New Year's Eve, the Lord put in my heart to send him a text message which said, Happy New Level. And, and so, and what I did not know was that was the theme that God had already put in this man's heart for this church. See, that's the way God works. He often, he'll put people together of the same spirit and the same, and I believe what God really was doing was confirming what you already know. That this church is headed to another level. In fact, I have to be honest, most people didn't even know you existed when I told them or didn't really know exactly what was going on here. So this is one of the best kept secrets in Tifton. <laughs> and, and when he told me that he's having some people that most people never thought would, would come to church, coming to church now. And, and he's having people, and listen, Pastor, let me say this. When the religious start talking about you and start criticizing you for reaching people that, that, that don't look like them, are you with me? That, don't, that aren't doing things that they would do and et cetera. And when you, when then you're doing the right thing, man of God. Amen. And so I, th I said, you think they criticized you up to now? Wait till they find out you had me here. <laughs> and so God really began dealing with my heart. Begin really, because listen, I'm, I'm a work in progress. And so when God really began dealing with my heart about what to really release this morning, I was kept hearing, I can't get away from new beginnings, new level, new season. But what I really thought last night after we met and after we had dinner, went back to uh, where we were staying, my wife and I, and God really began dealing with me even up in the morning hours about when he put something in front of you. Okay. Now stay with me, listen. He'll put it in front of you, but listen, some things can't be taught, but so far. Amen. Now, hear what I'm telling you. In other words, pastor and other pa leaders, can we can only teach you so far. That's right. That's right. But there comes a point when you have to jump in. In other words, there comes a point when you have to literally catch it. Some things can't be taught, they have to be caught. In other words, you can take, and, and the sheriff will even tell you this and other people in business, you can take employees and only send them to so many schools right. and so many seminars, right. but there comes a point when they literally have to catch it. Because if they don't catch the revelation being released, then revelation is no good. That's right. And really, you know, today, right now, all around the earth, there are great church services going on everywhere. There are great sermons being preached at this very moment. And that are about to be preached today and through the rest of the day. But most of those sermons, unfortunately, will be preached but will never be caught. In other words, they'll be, they'll be, it'll be released from the platforms of 
great, great churches around America, but for the most part, most people will never catch what's being said. So what happens is this. You come to a place, and this is what really God put in my heart. It's time we go. This is what the new level is going to look like. Are you ready to see it? It's time we go from not just only having church. Now stay with me. The new level will be not having church. The new level is going to be becoming the church. Oh wait, that was too weak. The new level is going to be where we, we finally become the church. Did you hear what I said? Listen. We've become good at having church. But what we've really lacked is being the church. And this is what God said. The old level was having church. I'm going to give you a scripture to back it up. And the new level is when we literally become what, who Jesus said we were. That's right. See, I was recently in California two and a half weeks ago where I went to a great church. And the pastor of that church, if his church backslides, the crime level goes through the roof. I went to a church in San Bernardino, California. You got to hear what I'm saying. That's made up of, the, it was the highest area in that part of California, the highest murder rates, the highest drug dealing, etc. And when that man of God stepped into that community, he didn't just go get a building and open it. This is what he did. He went to, took one city block at a time. And he went door to door. He didn't invite them to church. He didn't ask them were they going to heaven or going to hell. He didn't do any of that stuff. He simply said, what is your greatest need? And then he began meeting the need of those people. And after six months of consistently, he covered 12 city blocks. Then he had his first service. And 500 of the most unsaved, unlost people... In fact, the city let him use the community center, Sheriff. But when all those people showed up, they shut him down. They said, we thought you were going to have church. We didn't know you were reaching the city. In fact, I got to tell you, I was just there. And the week before I was there, they had helicopters, police helicopters, chasing people through his parking lot. The, the building God gave the man is right across from the parole and the probation office. But let me tell you what happened. There's a new end time army of God being raised up. Amen. Let me tell you what's happening. God is raising people out of the highways and the byways because the church has refused for so long to reach those. Now God is going into those areas and raising up the next end time army. What's going to be the result of that? The crime rate's going to drop. Come on, it's the truth. What, 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 what man has not been able to do for decades. God's going to do in a moment of a time. How do you stop murders and crime and all these things? You get the people full of the Holy Ghost. Come on. You got to get them full of God and on fire. And so I said all that to say this. I believe what's about to happen here is a great explosion. And everywhere I look in the Bible, this is what I see. The assignment has always been the city. The assignment has always been people. And so the new level is not going to look like just having church. Are you with me? The new level is going to be where God raises up an army of believers. 